Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Corey with Skinny Fat Duck. Today we are continuing our adventures with everybody's favorite aviary detective duo. That's right. We're returning to Chicken Police. Ah, we're busted, boss. Yeah, the boys were quite fast, I admit. Ah, what are we going to tell them? Any chance we were just joyriding around here? Not much. That's why they're going to believe it. You think so? Just watch and learn, Cub. Doing some uh, outside investigation now before we move on to the next little bit. Let's see. Mason Royce. Phyllis and Royce were assigned to secure the scene at Natasha's weekend house. I don't think they're very useful, but at least they're suitable garden gnomes. Kind of got work like that. All right, that's the same thing. So let's see what all we got here. All right, same as before. Blow out the tires, boss. What the hell's gotten into you, Marty? Huh? Well, I thought that conversation was going to be a little bit longer. Sorry about that. These two again, of course. Who else? Would you be happier if it were Moses and Plato? Yeah, you're right. We're lucky. There you go. Hey, boys. I see you're working hard. Hey, what about you? What the hell are you doing here? And we were just driving through when we saw the party. And who are you trying to feed that bullshit to? Yeah, we're not eating that shunny. This isn't your neighborhood. So, out with it. Why are you here? Pull back the spikes. What's going on? Just fill us in, fellas. Oh. Young girl, around 25 to 30 years old. Pretty? Some kind of doe or something? Impala, you moron. Aye, she was an Impala indeed, fellas. Wait, how do you know that, Marty? One of the officers mentioned it. Don't blow your top, okay? Carry on. We don't have all night. So, the girl was naked. There's no trace of predation. We don't even know how she died. It's the coroner's day off. Huh. Another thing that only happens in Clawville, huh? Which reminds me, what are you even doing here? We're securing the area. Yeah, I can see that. I beg your pardon, Marty. I said, have a nice time doing nothing, boys. I mean, securing. The rain's not gonna wash that off, I'm sure. No, it won't. Not for my mind, anyway. Here's the alpha pup. Hey, watch out. He may bite you. A barking dog never bites. Oh, Bosco's not like that. He's as happy as a dog with two tails. Ah, uh, we're criminally funny. Yeah, in a better world, we'd be in jail for it. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Crime scene. You can come in if you want, Marty. But unfortunately, Sonny counts as a civilian. It's all right, Bosco. We understand. Anyway, I don't think whatever's in there would surprise us much. What? Why'd you say that? Oh, nothing, nothing. We've just heard what's going on. It's one ugly case. Yeah, she was young and full of life. At least I think so. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm too old for this shit, you know? What are you doing here anyway? I heard there wasn't any predation here. It's a simple murder case, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. But I just realized Bosco's pants are unfastened. We simply don't have enough officers on duty to cover everything. Sound familiar? Yes, it does. So everyone's doing everything, eh? And nothing. Not what they should, anyway. But you know, I'm not even here. I just stepped in to take a look at the case for the boss. I'm already heading back to the PD. We just happen to be around here, too, so uh, we'll be on our way now. See you soon? Yeah, afraid so. All right. Just hit that to make sure we hadn't missed anything, and we have not. I don't really want to hit up the police department yet. We could go back to the scene. You know what? Why not? Mm, Sonny, you sure they'll welcome us here? Nope. No, they won't, but I don't mm. care. I like this new Sonny. 
You know, since the incident with the burning ship, I see these girls in a different light. No wonder. These demons are capable of anything. For sure, Sonny. For sure. Hey, I didn't mean it like that, okay? Be professional. Hard as stone. You're right. Wounded, tough, stone-hard cops. That's right. <laughs> Hello, miss. Gentlemen, I... I don't worry, miss. We're not here to arrest you. Though I admit the temptation is high. I... I just was... We know, doll. You did what the madam told you to, right? Please, don't be embarrassed. It's not your fault. Hey, Marty, you're not gonna propose to her, are you? Please, gentlemen, this is very embarrassing and unpleasant for me. What do you want here? Are you tempting fate? Do you want to die? If we wanted to die, we just had to let the ship burn. You know, the one you put us into. I had nothing to do with that. It was Ibn Wessler's goons. Wessler's goons? Did they knock us out, too? No, that was us. The girls. But we had no choice. I can't tell you more. Tell us this, then. Is the madam here? Yes. But I'm sure she wouldn't want to see you. You have to understand that. We'll see about that, sweet pea. Thanks for the help. But I... Maybe it's just a statue. I swear he was blinking before. Birdfella. You think this is a good idea, Sonny? We're gonna make the crocodile even more angry. Stay outside if you want, Marty. I don't care. This is probably a mistake, but I'm like, okay. mm, let's click everything. Okay, boss. I didn't say anything. The end is nigh. The dead walk among us. Uh, greetings to you too, madam. Are you surprised to see us? I must admit I am a little. But I also must admit I'm relieved. Yes. Relieved? Wasn't it you who put us on a burning ship by any chance? No, it wasn't me, Mr. Featherland. Though I can't deny my part in it either. How comforting. Look, Mr. Featherland, your investigation clashed with my business and my personal interests. I couldn't let it slide. That's all there is to it. Nothing more. You're expecting any other explanation in vain. You really are cold-blooded, aren't you? Not my fault. I'm a crocodile. It has nothing to do with you being a crocodile, madam. Whatever you think. So, what can I help you with, gentlemen? Before you alert your wildcats, we're not here to arrest you, ma'am. We're not even here to confront you with anything. Why, then? To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I simply want to know. Why? The answer is frustratingly simple, Mr. Featherland. You'll be disappointed. Try me. I have a contract with Mr. Wessler. And your investigation infringed certain terms of that contract. That's all. Contract, huh? Is Natasha the subject of this contract? You sold her to Ibn Wessler, right? That assumption is offensive. So? I'm not going to answer that, Mr. Featherland. No. I knew it. You know, sister, you could be a famous crocodile. You're still just a snake. And I hope snakes will forgive me that I mentioned them in the same sentence as you. I'm truly sorry you feel that way, detective. Maybe one day your opinion will change. All right. There's nothing else we can do there. Let's go to the Czar Club and see if we can find Ibn Wessler. Well, looks like the party's over. Yeah, it looks like it. And just when I was starting to get into the mood. Damn it. I thought I was going to see you shake a tail feather tonight, boss. Yeah, let's not go that far. Hello, ladies. 
Not even what happened to us at the brothel and on the burning ship discouraged you, huh? On the contrary, Sonny. I haven't felt this much alive in a long, long time. All right. You have five minutes. Then we're leaving. Thanks, Dad. But I'm not going to talk to them. You know me. I only conquer from afar and only in my mind ever since Laura turned my head and my world upside down. What a lucky woman, eh? I'm the lucky one. That's for sure. Hey, Lewis. Here again? I just left something here, S -S Sonny, but nothing important. Are you sure everything's all right, Lewis? You seem, uh, distracted. I'm fine, S -S Sonny. Don't you worry about me. What are you doing here anyway? You look quite b -b battered. Now yeah, we got both hot and cold tonight, literally and at the same time. But we're alive, and we're hoping maybe we can find Natasha here. I'm s -s sorry, Sonny. I, I haven't seen her since her p -p performance. Well, thanks. Uh, keep your eyes open, all right? In my e ears. I could already smell you, boys. Ah, hello, Morty. What's up? Are you lost, old lizard? Me? <laughs> lost? <laughs> no way. If I'm not mistaken, your rickety little shack isn't this way, Morty. It's uh, miles away from here. Don't you worry about me, you overgrown eggs. I know where the road's taking me. Jeffy uh, threw you out again, huh? Don't you worry about that either, pal. <laughs> That little bastard. All right, listen, Mort. I'll talk to Lewis for you, okay? Luckily, he's right here. Don't bother because of me, sonny boy. It's nothing. I can walk. No worries. I just want your legend to live on, lizard wizard. Let's see what we opened up there. Poor Mort got lost, and it looks very much like he can't go home, or doesn't want to. Anyway, we told Lewis to find a room for him, which I don't think we've done yet. Listen, uh, Lewis, uh, I need we have uh, not, so that was a spoiler. Sonny, you know, for you, anything, my friend. Five times a day, even. Okay, okay, I deserve that. So, how can I ha ha assist you again? You know old Morty, right? Uh, uh, uh yes, I, I know him. <clears throat> Indeed. I know he's not a saint, and he doesn't smell like flowers. His manners are disgraceful. And he drinks a lot. He's friends with weirdos. And he's in and out of jail. So we know he's not an easy character, but he has nowhere to go. And he is an old friend. Or something like that. So, he ne needs a room, right? You guessed it, pal. Well, no problem, t t gentlemen. I can handle that. Thanks, Lewis. Again. I don't know how many times. Much obliged. Don't mention it. One day I'm going to ask you for a favor in return. Anything, Long Ears. All right. We got an achievement. And Lewis helped us helped us find a place for old Mort. No matter how weird he is, this rabbit's heart is in the right place. I feel like they're setting him up to be a bad guy. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Alright, so we've done weekend house, weltering now. Let's go to the newsstand. Look at what the wind of the sea dragged in. Our gull friend in the flesh. I can't believe it. Is this guy everywhere? The gull sees farthest to flies highest, Marty. I gotta be honest yeah. now, I'm thinking is, hey, hey, you, you, I don't like your gull sure. friend. And I'm pretty disappointed in myself. I'm sorry. Hey there, Timster. Long time no see. Hey, boys. What a lovely surprise. Do you also have a deja vu, Sonny? 
It's like all of this had already happened, isn't it? Yeah, now that you mention it. I, I wasn't following you boys, I swear. We never said you were, Timbo. But what exactly are you doing here? It's a little far away from Roachtown. Uh, okay, okay, I confess. I was following you. But I simply had to know what this is all about and how it's gonna end. It's my job, after all. But you have to understand, pals. We're not your pals, Tim. And I'm telling you for the last time, get the clock off our backs, or it's gonna end up a lot different for you than you think. Ah, that's harsh. Even from you, Sonny. Did something happen? Did you get dragged into something personal? And on New Year's Eve again? Yeah, I mean, what's the chance of that? Bloody New Year's is back? Uh, is there a connection between the two? Uh, uh, what happens if it reappears again? Make him stop, Marty, or I'm gonna twist his beak off. Hey, uh, okay, okay, I get it. Yeah, my beak is sealed, and uh, I'm gonna keep it low. Very good. You're not so stupid after all, Tim. You must have been just pretending. <laughs> uh, that, that's a good one, Sonny. <laughs> What a night we're having. We even ran into Bubo. And you're still alive? <laughs> Give praise to the great wild ones, lads. <laughs> we do. What's going on with the old owl? He didn't tell us much about himself. Oh, I hear the old owl's doing quite all right, since more and more cops step outside the line and more and more gangsters shoot themselves in the foot. Busy days, huh? Ah, uh, something's coming, lads. It's in the air. And I can feel it in me beaver bones, too. Clovers boiling. Yeah, we feel it as well, Uncle Mullen. We managed to run into Philmar, too. Good old Phil, huh? I've heard he's not been doing so well of late. He didn't look so good, that's for sure. At the age of the private eye is over, lads. Now, animals either sue each other, or turn to the local crime lords. Only jealous or betrayed housewives remain for private detectives. Phil would never admit to that. He's too much of a romantic. Are we still talking about Phil Mayer? <laughs> what the hell is Tim doing here? Ah, uh, you're still angry at him, then. He's not really a bad fowler, and he simply idolizes you. Be gentle with him. It's not adoration, it's an obsession, and I can't bear obsessive people. Then how exactly can you bear Martin? Hey, old man. The exception that proves the rule, right? If I'm obsessed, then what are you, boss bird? No, that's different. I have no other choice but to be with myself. The toughest prison on the planet, right? <laughs> Get a room, you two. <laughs> Listen, Hercule, what do you know about Madame Zavos? Why do I have the feeling you're not interested in her girls? Because you know us, Uncle. I hope you didn't mess with her. The old Cayman has a rather bad reputation, to put it mildly. <clears throat> Crocodile, but you're right. We shouldn't have messed with the old gal. She set fire to a ship with us in it. <laughs> Boys, I've heard she loves drama, but that is a whole other level. Yeah, right. We barely got out alive. What else should I tell you about her, then? Maybe try not to anger her, if that's possible. <laughs> Thanks. Good advice. <laughs> I see everything's like it used to be. <laughs> yeah, if only my back was the same. Huh, <laughs> you're telling me. Is that the chicken, please? Hello, Hercule. Good to see you here. <laughs> I'm always here, lads. All right, we've already done that. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's back to Clawville PD. Uh -oh. furry hell. So they know we're still alive? And I'd like to do something about it. Uh oh. Oh, okay.
I think it's kind of weird that we're shooting the car and not the guys that are shooting at us. It's a little odd. But it looks like we did it, guys. We could only hope we'd arrived in time. If they it's kind of a jarring cut. To the interrogation room, the hole as we called it, and beaten the truth out of him, we'd lose the trail and end up in a dead end. It was time to be fast and ruthless. God damn it, Zip. Why couldn't you stay out of this? Ah, look who's here. The top of the cops. Idiot's luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. Wonders of the world, Marty. Alright, I think we're going to cut it off here. Um, once again, I see something weird with Chicken Police that makes it challenging. Uh, not to recommend. It just, it's like almost there. I'm still enjoying the crap out of this game. I think it's really fascinating what they've done here. The story and the acting and the music, I think, are all great. Um, but there's just little, little things like the talking about what we haven't done yet um, or the kind of confusion with the police shootout thing that, I don't know, brings it down a little bit. But regardless... I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are as well. Um, if you are, give us a like. Consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.